Hello and welcome to our WUMA 1000 online machine demonstration. Thank you for your interest. My name is Eric Siegler and I'm responsible for European sales in the grinding sector. Right after my short introduction, we will show you a video about the highlights of the revolutionary WUMAR 1000 series. The technical specialist Michael Egerton and Patrick Sund will then explain the unique machine features. You can ask your questions during the entire machine presentation in the chat. We'll, we are going to answer the questions at the end of the machine presentation. Now, let the WUMA 1000 inspire you and discover the new solutions for your grinding task. We will be happy to so support you in your challenges. Good afternoon and welcome to the WUMAR 1000 machine presentation. We would, we would like to welcome you here in St. Gallen. My name is Patrick and I'm together with Michael to present the, our latest internal grinding machine. The WUMAR 1000, also called WUMAR 1000, is one of the two latest innovations from hard inch grinding. The focus of the WUMAR 1000 is universal, flexible and high precision. It's designed here in St. Gallen, Switzerland. Proven technology from Wumar have been supplemented with Kellenberger components. Now I will show you on the consecration of the machine on the board. Two hydrostatic Linear axes called hydrolin are mounted on a machine bed. A hydrostatic B axis is mounted on the set axis which rotate the wheel head. The second B axis is mounted on the X axis which rotates the workpiece carrier. We would like to go into more details about the components. Michael will now explain the hydrolin axis. Hello world. I'm proud to present to you now the new hydrolin axis unit. On the VM1000, uh, each, the X and the Z axis, are built up by hydrolin axis or units. Each of them has a maximum offset of 450 millimeters and the maximum feed rate of 20, minutes, 20 meters per minute. Also, small steps can be done with oscillation, with oscillation frequencies up to 10 hertz. Now to the wording. What sticks inside hydrolin? That's first of all the hydrostatics and on the other hand side, the linear axis, uh, the linear direct drive. To these key technologies, I will lose a few words. First, to the hydrostatics. Hydrostatic means that the movable slat of the axis is gliding or sliding on a small oil film, which stays under a constant or static pressure. 
that means that there is no contact between the sled and the, the static part. What we can also see here is that uh, for hydrolin, the, the guideway is constructed as a wrap around, uh, supported by controlled oil pockets that gives us a maximum stiffness of the unit and a very good uh, robustness. To the other key technology, to the linear direct drive. Uh, the linear direct drives dispenses with ball screws and coupling elements. It is also free of contact. This gives us an excellent controllability and dynamic. So we have merged these two key technologies in the axis unit. Hydrogen is compact and smart together. To the advantages of the combination, we have no wear and neglectable, neglectable friction that gives us an excellent performance and precision. For example, we can do small steps in the nanometer, nanometer scale. Also, smallest feeds of 0.5 microns per minute uh, are smooth and linear, and we have no back, backlash and no stick slip effect. Down here, I have two plots. These are circularity tests made by the scale of the axis unit. On the left-hand side, one by hydrolin, and on the other hand side, one with a ball screw axis with a classical drive. As you can see, the, the circularity of hydrogen is very smooth because of the good controllability. On the other hand side, we have a, a not so good controllability. And then the boundary of the, the segments here is uh, clearly backlash visible. A remark to the B-axis. Also, the B-axis of the WUMA 1000 machine are hydrostatic or fully hydrostatic with wrap arounds together with direct drives. That means that all axes of the WUMA 1000 base are fully hydrostatic and direct driven with all full advantages. Now back to Patrick. He will explain you now the turret wheel head. The modular construction of the turret wheel head allows the four grinding spindle positions to be specified individually. The external grinding spindle has a power of 12.7 kilowatt. The speed is variable adjustable from 400 to 6000 RPM. An external grinding wheel up to diameter 300 millimeter and the width of 40 millimeter can be mounted. The internal grinding spindles are oil air lubricate high frequency spindles. They have a speed up to 120,000 RPM. In addition, the internal grinding spindles are openly available with cooling lubricant through the spindle. The tactile measuring head is mounted to the turret wheel head. It's used to measure the diameter and length, the workpiece position in Z and C axis, and for many other measuring operations. My colleague will now explain the workpiece carrier to you. To the workpiece carrier of the WUMA 1000. It is defined as a combination of the table, the work cat, and the dressing positions in behind. This combination allows us to grind workpieces with a diameter of max 300 millimeters and the maximum length of also 300 millimeters. Let's hatch a glimpse into the WUMA 1000. As you can see, the work cat is arranged on the table profile and can be so adjusted to the workpiece dimension and the length of it. It allows also to place steady rests on the table to support sensitive workpieces. It allows also to clamp and disclamp the two sizes of workpieces, work heads easily. As you can see, the B2 axis supports us now also to orientate the workpiece in different positions especially to grind cones directly under the B2 angle. Now to another highlight of the WUMA 1000 machine, the dresser positioning. 
As you can see, there are three dresser positions, which can be loaded in a very flexi flexible way with dressers. For example, fixed dressers or rotating dressers with bells and form rolls on. All dressers can be set by B2 axis very easily and in a very delicate way. So it's allowed to uh, dress diameters and shoulders of the grinding wheel just by one dresser. And look at this. There is so much space around the dressers. It's difficult to get the collision there. Another highlight is the enormous swiveling angle of the B2 axis, which gives us a lot of flexibility. For example, to place measuring devices around B2 and to reach the ward piece changing position in the left of the machine, where also an automation cell can be placed. Between the B1 and the B2 side is a very nice double turret functionality given. Every tool can be moved to each element on B2. Now to the accuracy and precision of the WUMA 1000. What I have brought to you now are two measurements. First of all, a double ball bar test that we have done on the machine with a Renishaw measurement system. On the center height or on the workpiece height. We have done a bidirectional uncompensated test with a superb result of 1.1 microns. As you can see, the circularity is very smooth. And there is, uh, and because of the good control behavior, we have no backlash and no stick slip on it. To be mentioned, we have the potential to go down or under one micron because we have possibility to activate compensations for the series. To the second measurement, we have done grinding on the WUMA 1000 and the WUMA 150 machine to compare them. Uh, we have grinded ID diameters on a ring uh, workpiece 30 times. The first focus goes uh, to a comparison of the standard wheel heads, uh, work heads of the machine, sorry, the work heads of the machine. As you can see on the blue bar, we have uh, reached a very good result with the WUMA 1000 of 0.2 microns. The uh, WUMA 150 standard wheel head is also very good. To be mentioned, we have here the potential to use high precision uh, work heads to go down and to get much better result than that. Now to the second or the, the last plot here. Uh, the focus is on the, on the dressing of the workpiece. To be mentioned that every workpiece is dressed in front of the grinding. The focus uh, during the dressing procedure now is on using the B2 axis. We have done one grinding and dressing combination uh, using the B2 axis, which gives us the blue bars and one without using the B2 axis, the green bars here. We have evaluated the, the deviations on the diameter. As you can see, both are very similar. We have good results on them. That means that the B2 axis have a, a really good and positive effect on the dressing. On the other hand, we have no negative effects using B2. Uh, to be mentioned, Additional and expensive access to flap dressers are redundant. This effect we have also seen uh, by first grinding cases before customers uh, which have delivered great results and we are open to do the same with you. Thank you. We have now reached the end of the presentation and I give back to Patrick. We like to mention once again the focus of the Woomer 1000. Highest university highest flexibility, and highest accuracy. Thank you very much for listening. We will now be happy to answer your questions. So I'm Max, I'm placing the questions with um, Patrick and Michael. So one question came up, is the, is the new machine having a cam profile grinding feature? In the meaning of uh, the way I understand this question, can this machine contour grind, Patrick? Yes, the machine can that. You need, you need the, the black cam solution to make this. 
So then, uh, what was the original launch date of this machine? The launch date was last March uh, over online uh, presentation from, uh, from people here in St. Gallen. Okay, technical. How many dressing uh, positions are available? There are three different dressing positions uh, available. Uh, the maximum are two rotation dressers and one uh, steady dresser position. Okay. Uh, Michael, what is the difference to the WUMA 150? Uh, the WUMA 150 is the elder machine generation and it has a complete different machine structure. Uh, it is also designed for longer parts. Uh, for example, uh, to the base differences, uh, it has a uh, crossed axis and no hydro hydrostatic. On the other hand side, uh, the WUMA 1000 has a uh, uh, better precision uh, a better precision level, in summary. Okay, Patrick, um, is um, loading capabilities are available on this machine? Yes, on the machine is a loading possible. The, the loader on the left side of the machine, uh, the workpiece carrier swivels to the change position or to the loading position. The loader loads the parts and the, the workpiece carrier uh, swivels back again to the grinding position. We have already already have a concept with the V step from the company Wenger. Okay, uh, Michael, for which industry was the WUMA 1000 developed? As Patrick uh, mentioned, uh, the focus is on precision, so uh, that we have been focused at the die mold industry as well as the uh, the auto automotive industry with big tiles, as well as the, as the bearing uh, industry or the tool holding industry. Very good. What is the current lead time on the WUMA 1000, Patrick? That's around 10 months now. Okay, so far I don't see any more questions. So I thank you gentlemen for answering the questions. Uh, if there are no further questions left, we now finish our live demonstration of the WUMA 1000. All questions and answers will be sent you by email. Once again, thank you very much for listening. One, on behalf of Hardinge and my colleague, uh, Eric and Michael, I would like to say goodbye to you. See you. Bye-bye. <laughs>